didn't know this until yesterday, so you learn something new every day. But unfortunately, what I heard was shocking. So, just to say before I get started, the Coast Guard and the uh, uh, Irish Air Corps does some search and rescue. They do do some search and rescue. But as we know about the Air Corps, um, there's not enough pilots, there's not enough technicians, there's nobody in the Air Corps. They literally can't afford the. They literally haven't got the people to fly the, the helicopters or anything like that. Um, and guess what? They have a private group. Yes, they have a private group and there's a 10 year contract and soon up. I didn't know this. But guess how much it's costing? And again, if we got to the... Because again, these are private people. We have to pay for the upkeep of their helicopters and things like that. But these private group, it's not the Defence Force. It's not the Coast Guard. They have different organ. They're state one organisations, right? Um, this is a private group. They pay private people to do it and things like that. Um, for a 10, 10 year contract. So say, now the Defence Forces could do it at half of the price. Um, and just by the way, Simon Coven, the Minister of Defence... He, fuck, he should be kicked out. He should be kicked out. Literally saying, the Defence Forces, the Irish Air Corps has no role in search and rescue. Um, yeah. And you know, the next thing I'm going to say is, you think you would say, you know, they should be involved. Um, and if they're funded it, if they're funded and pay people through, because there is people out there who want to join the army. There is people out there. There's tons of people in this country who want to join. And just cut it. they couldn't make a living in the army. I might as well straight. So many of them have left. So many good soldiers have left and they joined the Royal Navy, they joined the Royal, you know, joined the British Army. And they were white, they were white, better conditions, better pay. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Because again, this country treated them like prisoners in their own country. Um, but yeah, 70 million. Seven, no, 700 million. So, 700, so 70, I don't even know, 700 million. I think it is. I'm not too sure. I'll leave the article in the description. But it's 700 million. And that's a lot of money for, for that's you and I have to pay it. You and I have to pay that. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's worth to, to save somebody's life if somebody's stranded at the sea. Don't get me wrong. That's totally hundred percent you because again that's what we pay the money for, to save people's lives. Um But it's the thing is, and that's uh Carol Bowley said he's an independent for Cadero South, he's a former army ex ranger. The defence forces could do for a fraction, probably ten, a hundred a hundred million, barely probably a hundred million. Instead of seven, seven million, seventy-seven million, or whatever, so seven, seventy million. I don't know. It's so much. It's so much money spent on it. Um, it's not even funny. Like if they bought new, like if they got a few extra helicopters in the air corps, right? And they paid. And I use the word if they treated their men and women in the air corps with some kind of dignity and some kind of loyalty and some kind of respect. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, people might join. And you know what? And maybe they might save a bit of money for their taxpayer. But, you know, there's no need for a private organisation. If they fund the Air Corps and say to the Air Corps, you know, we want you to take responsibility for this. And we're going to give you the funding. We're going to give you the manpower. We're going to make it a favour. You know, because again, they're spending this amount of money on a private company, which we could really do ourselves. I know at the moment time the Air Corps are not in any fit state to be going around probably looking for people in the sea and everything like that. or so to ask you. But it's the thing... If you funded it, if you got the right amount of people, like these people, and I'll tell you these people, they would we join if the pay was good and that the conditions were all right. They would join. They would join, no problem. There's so many probably would love to join the Irish Army and just can't because the pay is so bad and everything. And you know, it's to do with too, they're buying ridiculous, stupid things in the defence forces that they don't need. You know, again, if they could do it for half of the price. And simply, they could do it for half of the price. They could nearly probably do it for... Yeah, they can cut it down by 60%, maybe even 70% if they've done it themselves. If they paid the def if they give the money to the Defence Forces and said, you know, buy, new, buy a few new chapels, you know, buy maybe a search and rescue plane, you know, you know, and then you pay a few extra, you pay for a few extra um, Air Corps people, technicians, pilots, you know, etc. And you, you know, Bob's a worker. Bob's a worker. There's your solution. Bob's a worker. You don't have to pay for a, you know, a private company to do it. Well, obviously, what could Ireland can do it itself? Ireland can be some kind of self suspicion that it can do it itself. Um, and the fund obviously give a bit more extra funding to the Coast Scout, and the Coast Scout could do a bit more too. But yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and bye.